Siniac, let's do a semi straight line by 80. Me, Siniac you fool, that is a straight line. The rest of us, we will now name him Semiac in the future. Seniac, the Fool's Kingdom FC will be the greatest football team in the world. Residents of Fool's Kingdom, wait, what world? Seniac, we will call it Fishtown. Me, flashbacks to Tsunami. Seniac, let's do a semi straight line for 80 units. Everybody else, Seniac, you fool. So much death going on. Anyway, more fish markets. Seniac, 2021. Guys, welcome back to another episode of a very, very rainy Fool's Kingdom right now. Well, last episode, we, we finally implemented our first ever fishing kingdom. Out of all the kingdoms we've got, we now have got one catching that sweet, sweet fish. And we got it set up to the point where it's now able to export to a bunch of different kingdoms. It's actually selling fish. We're making tons of money back in return. And today, we're probably going to engineer the biggest infrastructure that we have ever done to this point. We are going to kind of semi-plan the future of a transport island. And what I want to do is I want to try and hook up a few of the kingdoms via a road. Now, don't worry. It's not going to be too... It is going to be crazy. It is going to be crazy. But I kind of want to do what we did uh, a very similar setup. It's very rainy right now. Uh, between Fool's Kingdom and Fredonia. We have the toll booth here, which is treated like passport control. They come in, pay some funds, get into a new kingdom. And I want to use this island here as being our big transport hub. It's going to connect up the Big Falls Kingdom. It's going to connect up Vegasville. And it would also connect up to potentially Fishtown, which Fishtown is only is brand new. Still got plenty of room for expansions, but that's what it's going to do. We're going to hook it up by first highways. So why I say it's going to lead on to eventually a transport kingdom, because at the minute we ain't going to really do much over here. We're going to have we're going to create like a little T junction in the highway system to kind of lead us over to uh, to there. Throw a couple of um you know toll booths down, treat them as passport controls, and that's how this kingdom is going to come about. We're going to create a backstory right in front of your faces right now so if you guys do enjoy this then please smash that like button down below if you're under it here make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out now the reason why we set you up by roads we are going to have like boats and planes and all that jazz we are going to do that but i know more than anybody what it's like to build a city on, a, on an island it comes to a point where you kind of don't need some secret underground roads so why not make these secret underground roads not a secret and useful because goods need to be transported they do need to be transported and it will really really help out our industries so how it's going to work then i'm going to utilize for example this road here should i turn off the the weather it's very gloomy isn't it i'm going to utilize this road here and it's going to go underground we'll sort out a new connection here it's going to go underground and it's going to turn and then go in this direction once it comes to this island it's then going to appear above ground and we're going to create a T. The reason we create a T is because it comes in, it can go straight over, and what it will do is it will lead over here. And then the T here goes this way, will lead down here and over to there to create a new connection. So the I the well, um, Veganville and Falls Kingdom will be connected via this T. But then in this way, we'll come over to here, which it will then eventually connect up to this road that goes underground and pops up over there. But at the same time, it's going to connect here to a T as well underground and what that t on the ground is going to do is allow us to go that way to the right but then to the left so people from fishtown can then go direct route and pop up here there so i'm trying to integrate these three big boy kingdoms is it going to work i don't know but it's going to be very very useful and it'll be a way for our brand new kingdom here to gain all that tax money from going for the, the passport control toll booth and then when they start getting a load of cash money moolah they can then claim the island as their own build their very own kingdom and sit back relax and to spend all that tax money uh, so that's what we're going to try and do so there's a few things i need to try and do i think what i might do first is implement here uh, the t-junction now i'm going to keep it very very simple for now in the future when we start go to work on this island a little bit more we'll kind of make it a little bit more elaborate but this is how we're going to do it i'm going to drop that smack bang just there 
And yes, we are going to be using highway roads as well. But where this is a free, I'm actually going to change it into a two. Because I feel like we're not going to need such... Well, we're not going to need free lanes. That's how I feel right now. We're not going to need free lanes. So actually, do you know what? I just realized well, we got to do lane math. So while these remain um, two lanes, these ones become a single lane because that is how lane math works. Now, eventually, this might get upgraded and changed to a roundabout. It might get changed to a four-way section as we build a little community around here. It could even get switched up and turned into a trumpet junction. We don't know just yet. We don't know. So what I need to do is first create our first connection here. So I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to just for the sake of it, because it's going to kind of annoy me, just turn off the dynamic weather real quick. So there we go. So it's 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 now daytime. I just got to wait for the rain to go so the roads are no longer shiny. But there we go. I'm going to pause it for a hot minute and just delete this. All right, we delete it about there. And we need to create... Um, our little system of how it brings the vehicles over now i've got a couple of options and i could potentially implement a roundabout now if i was to do like a 60 roundabout i don't know how many people are going to be using this so i don't 100 know how this is going to go down so it's not one of the things i don't know if, if roundabout is going to be the best method so if i come out by eight just for a second i'm trying to picture where that roundabout is going to drop all right, by there, maybe. Now, it won't work. A roundabout will not work. So if I just kind of treat this to here, to there, and as we get to this point here by 10, we bring. I'm going to bring it down by 15, okay? Seems quite dramatic, but that's pretty much how it's going to work. Which means I've got to sort something out for this whole system here. That is what I've got to do. So what I could do is I could implement slip roads. So if I use these right now, and if I go to there, so we're gonna bring here. up a little bit further. So do it. If I go by a five here, can I do like a ten by ten? Ten? No, not really. Six? No. Seven by seven? Just to kind of get it around to here. And then is that going in by a straight? It is. So if I bring it just to... To there. Then that will allow me then to bend... Around the edge. So... Again, I've got to get this just right. I'm trying to figure out from there to there becomes a 15. So I don't really have the perfect road layout for this. If I do a 6 by 6 and then a... Oh, it won't let me do it. What are you doing, boy? 7. No, it's not going to work out. It could also be that I'm too, going too far to the end of this and I don't need to. So let me do it backwards here. 7 by 7. Oh, yeah, it won't do that because it's way too close. Okay, we'll stick to the 6 by 6s. 6 by 6. That's a 5. 6 by 6. There we go. Flip that all around. Does what it needs to do. Okay. Does exactly what it needs to do. Um, put that into a singular road right now. So where that would run down to here. A bit too close. Like that. I'll bring it down by another 10. Just so I can delete this. And so I know that that is a 10 by 8. So if I came out by 2. Let 
No, we'll come out by five. So that means it'll be a four, five by five. That's not bad. Right, we'll go with that. So it allows me to run that all the way around. Pretty much. It allows me to run it all the way around. Then we will, by an 11, cut that in. Line 11, create that there, and then run that down. And a bit difficult to see because obviously you can't really see much because of the train track going over. And that feels really close compared to the distance of there. It's a bit funky, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because at the end of the day, it's hopefully going to do the job it needs to do. I sort out all the lame stuff real quick. I'm merging them all over into like that. It is what it is, okay, at the end of the day. Once I start seeing vehicles use it, then I'll kind of go on to change it. But for now, it's That's all done. good. Now, can I get back to the port? Oh, hang on. <laughs> I forgot I deleted this. Bam. Sweet. So that's back to normal. Ain't going to stress much about that. And we'll come back to this. Actually, we'll do this now. So I've got two options. I could either keep it to that four-lane road that we've kind of created it to here. Or at this stage, I could split it into a four-laner. But I think I might use this type of highway because it's a national road. It's still kind of semi-classed. Well, it's classed as a highway. I won't say it's kind of semi-classed as it. It is classed as a highway. And we'll get this now all the way over. So let me figure out how I've got to do this. So if I chose this point here, ran it down to there. Actually, I'll make it go on the ground here. Now, we made the other one go down by 15. So I'll make this one go down by 15. Where's the snap? What? Oh, I say, where's the snap? There is no snap. There we go. I'm trying to run it. I knew that was going to happen. I should have had tunnel mode selected the whole time. So that goes to there. Then this here obviously comes to there. And will it pick up the bend from this distance? I don't think it's going to. So we'll bring it a little bit closer. Oh, that's got to be the perfect bend there, right? 16 by 15. We'll take it. We'll take it. So that leads us over to there right now. Which, for the life of me, I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> what are you doing, game? What are you doing? So we'll select now all the, um, the road underneath. And we'll align it to the object height of the first one. There we go. We no longer see it. Nice. Perfection. So that's going to lead us to over there. I won't connect it just yet because it might just cause big, big issues. But then that will then split into its four-lane national road into the two lanes here and off its skedaddles. So that does what it needs to get does. Nice. Right. The next difficult one's going to be this one because over here is where we're going to create it as a T-junction but in the mountain, which is going to be really, really awkward to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick from this point here. What's going on? What is it? Are we, how are we still in underground mode? There we go. And then bringing this as close as we can, but obviously making it go minus 15. There I go. And while that does dip down quite hefty. I am going to raise it as much as I can to make it look somewhat normal. And then that's going to lead over to here. So, question is right. When I bring it over, do I make it pop up over here? Or do I let just, you know, to if eventually build around this area? I feel like we would need to. So, if I just bring it to there. But I don't know how much kind of free time it's going to have before it then goes off to bend into here. Hmm. Also, I know you can see all that. We'll sort all that out in a minute. 
Because this would also be a good cut through to people who can enter over this side as well. Hmm. Unless what I created in the middle was a, a four-way system. That could then lead up to go to, and popping out in the middle there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's something that I can create in the future. So as of right now, this is what we're doing. So let me kind of first figure out. Because I've also got... There's, there's, there's many firsts I'm kind of creating right now. So mine is 15. And then that is going to go straight to a certain extent. And I'll do a 10 by 10 bend just there. Locking that in pretty much as straight as we can make it just to here. I'm doing the wrong type of road from the get-go. There we go. And then these will meet. So I won't connect. I'll, I'll put them close, but I won't connect them because obviously they'll start using it and we're not quite ready for that yet. So I bring that to there. And then we'll create our 15 by 14. As good as. Oh, I, I said I wasn't going to connect them. <laughs> there we go. We just delete it just there. So that does that then. That's how that connection is going to work. And in the middle here, we'll eventually do like a four-way. And then the bit that goes down this way will obviously be connected to here. And then the bit that goes up this way will come out and then pull out to there into this bay side section where we expand more of Fishtown. That's pretty much how it's going to work. So I can actually put the game back into play mode right now. I ain't going to worry about what's actually going to happen. I've just got to sort out this little section that you can see. Um, of the tunnel just there. And I just want to align it to the object height. Of let's say that one. Nope, picked the wrong one. Align it to the object height of... Nope. Oh, snap. What have I done? Right, select it all. Oh, hang on. I'm not even in the move it tool now. All right, just to make it go below so we can't see it. It's going to cause a little bit of a tsunami wave. Oh, no. But we should be all good. Uh, right, okay. So before I do the little crisscross over there, I've got to figure out the next my game plan of getting these guys connected. So... I'm going to want it to be a tunnel from this point to there. And then I'm going to have it go to just here. So this section here, we're going to create it as a slight little bend. Uh, 10 by 10. There we go. How bad is it? What is going on here? <laughs> I think because it's not low enough is the, is the issue there. That's literally what it's going to be. So let me just quickly select all this. Wow. How can I mess up? So bad. Oh, no trees. But yeah, how can I mess up so bad? Align to object height of the, the, the depth of that. There we go, which clears it all through. That's a little bit low, but I can sort that out. It's not an issue. My big issue is how do I connect it all underground here? Now, at the minute, this is really really low so what I actually what I do is I'll make that point there aligns the object height of let's say that and I know it jumps up quite high and then from there we'll quickly slope the objects just so it comes up to the same height and then we can connect it now I don't know if it's possible to do a roundabout on the ground like if the roundabout mod allows me to do that wouldn't it be interesting to kind of see? So, bam, just there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do it underground, can I?
No, because it takes me out of that underground view straight away. I could do it above ground and then make it go and then like kind of force it to be a tunnel. But I don't know if that's going to be the right thing for us to do. Hmm. Right, I got to think about this. I've got to think about this. So, right, let me actually delete, 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 delete. And what we'll do is we will bring that road to there. But I'll make this couple of sections here align to the object height of. Oh, hang on, I pressed the wrong button, haven't I? What's going on with this? Oh, hold on. Let me let me upgrade it to be above ground. Still not going to work. How about if I... What I'll just do, I'll make it really easy for us. Elevate it up to normal level zero. And then push it straight across. There we go. So basically, I'm going to use this road here to connect to it. We're going to use the roundabout mod, which I'm going to actually do it as a three lane highway. Okay. I'm going to do it as a three lane highway, but we'll, we'll kind of change things up slightly on it. So we need to upgrade the whole of this section. And then if I extend that a little bit more. There we go. So rather than having connections like that, um, let's bring this a little bit. So what's that? That's the distance of eight. There we go. 13. So we're roughly the same distance off. We're going to create it like this. So we, we've got slip roads leading into an, or basically on and off the roundabout. And then we're going to force all of this to go underground. So that's how we're going to do it. I know it's leading on to a two into a three laner, but it, it should enable us to kind of allow everyone to turn. So get rid of the roundabout mod right now. And we're going to hopefully sort all these junction restrictions out. So I don't know why I'm doing no crossing because no one can cross anyway. Allow them to, to fly on. Right, yeah, yeah, you can't fly on. Yeah, yeah, you can't fly on. Allow them to do that. Allow them to do that. Uh, the give way signs right now, so you're always giving way when you're entering the roundabout. And then lane management, I just want to make sure that these aren't turning around on this section. That's all good. And I just need to make this now go all on the ground. Pretty much. So what i got to do is upgrade it to be a tunnel on the exact same road styles. There we go. There we go. Uh, the two laners. And then the three lane highway. Which I'm, I'm assuming that this is the same... Snap. Same kind of style. And then this should then be connected to make it all on the ground, which it is. It's all very bumping all over the place, but now what we do is we select all of this minus the wind turbines and we align to the object height of, let's say, that. But then these ones here Okay, we'll push it further back a bit. And we will then slope for a gradual slope. That's really funky, that turn. <laughs> I think it's just because it's so underground. I've never done anything like this. So all the restrictions should still be there. Right, all the lane management should still be... Oh, it's not. Right. 
I think that's all right. Uh, there. Oh, no, there. There should be one here. Yeah, there's that there. If there's not one there... Oh, there it is. There we go. It's just so I didn't want people to do like, that little kind of... I like, can come down here and turn and go back that way. Everything should be all good. Um, apart from that, give way. There we go. There's nothing else I need to do. That is it. Man, that was so stressful. That was literally so stressful. But that is in. The road network is in. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Just going to connect these two up here. Which we'll, we'll, we'll have to also sort out some kind of type of um, toll booth. And obviously go and then go in this direction. Now I've got the option to maybe get it hooked up to this. But I feel like it might overload the industrial area. So I could create like another roundabout just there that kind of goes down and then all the way around. Or I just utilize it off this one. It's a tough one. It really is. So I think I'm going to utilize it off this one. Let's just go with it. So bring it out by... Well, I need to first make it go down by 15. So 15 by 15. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Um, as a tunnel right now. And then eventually it's going to meet us up over here. Which this, if I bring it... Bring it out to... There. To there. To there. Keep getting a little bit closer. Delete back a bit there. And we'll see what we can come up now with a bend. So 21 by 20. I'll take it. I'll take that. It's probably going to look a shambles now. Um, outside of the underground section. Yep. <laughs> Always does. Um, Alright, select all of this. Align it to be the same object height as, let's say... Well, this one over here, really, is the one you want. So you can't see it. All good. Wow, this is stressful. So, this is where it now all takes place. If I delete that to there... Select to here, and this is where we're now going to try and attempt to place in our little kind of um, toll booth and reenact it as if it was, you know, a country of customs, of transport, or something down those roads. Uh, right, so we need to do a toll road here, which we need the big one that goes both directions. Oh, wow, and it's actually quite bigger than I thought it would be. So if I hooked up that up there, I then should be able to, with the two-lane highway systems, you go that way, you go that way, and with the power of the mover tool, bend that out, bend that in. But of course, we need to sort out the lane management. Whereas I get it that it's a four lane, but it filters the traffic and allows four vehicles to go through at once. So we're going to kind of do it in this system. And that should be self-explanatory. Simple. Needs water and power. We'll set that up momentarily. But that one side there is then done. Granted, it does lead into this, which I might have to sort something out here we might have to kind of um do a couple of dedicated turn lanes even potentially stick another roundabout there or just get rid of this connection directly to it altogether and that becomes a sole connection into karen's crops i think that might be the best bet for now right we create this as being the sole connection at the moment in but we do have roads that kind of pass over and could do another one there at least we have this dedicated roundabout for this area so i feel like it's going to be heavily used so if I go back a bit right now and um, delete you, go underground, right, delete back a bit, and we pretty much do the same thing right now. So 
here. We're going to bring it back up to zero, say by 15. It's the wrong type of road. And then while getting out of the underground mode, I do another five. Nah, doing it number five there is a little bit too close. Oh, what? what's going on? Holy smokes, boys. So you have to... Right, why have I now lost the... There we go. So that goes there. This whole tunnel system here right now is messed up big time. So let me uh, bring that down. What's going on with it? I'll push that out a bit. There we go. That was very funky, wasn't it? That was very funky. So, bam. Bam. Do what we did on the other one. Sort out lane management real quick. But ba bam We have to do this one manually. But it's no biggie. There we go. There we go. That one then is all set up. And it's just this side. And then, sweet mate. It's all good to go. So as of right now then, the Fool's Kingdom and uh, Veganville is technically connected. It's just we don't have any power yet for the, uh, the toll booths. So if that one went here and then we did the same just on this side then so bam bam do a little bit of a bend here and there bam and then one two three four five six seven eight all done so the only thing that we don't have now then, now Fishtown is also connected to the two, apart from the connection here. But we don't have a solid toll booth for them to pass to get over to this area. Hmm. Now, do we allow free travel? Do you know what? Yeah, Veganville. And, um... Veganville and Fishtown... They, it's like they can have an agreement that they have free travel between the two countries. That could be a pretty good one, couldn't it? I think it would. So throw that in like that. I don't think any vehicles can go this way yet because we don't have any water or power. But we'll set this up real quick. Uh, right now. So... It's just going to be very, very basic. We don't even have a, have a kingdom formed yet. <laughs> Do we? Don't even have a kingdom formed yet. And it's going to have its own water. I think... I think what I should have done, until we have a kingdom formed for it, it's going to be paid for by the kingdom of Fool's Kingdom. So that will give it its um, water and sewage. And we just need to give it some power. So we'll do like a wind turbine for each one. That's all it needs. Sweet. Should be as good as. So that will settle everything then. It should have... Um, why, is it not, why is the sewage not connecting? All the way over. some reason the sewage won't pass all the way over to here. Is it too far away? Can't be that it's too far away. Right, sewage now. Right, everyone's connected. Not only sure what's going on, but until we have an actual kingdom here, which you guys can give us some comments, suggestions for it in the comment section. Um, it's going to be funded by Fool's Kingdom. 
So that is set up there. This is going to be like the feature point of this whole kingdom. Like we're going to have like transport hubs for potentially trains, potentially um, uh, what are they called metro lines. If I I don't know if I'll ever go that far, but we're definitely going to have um, ships and stuff coming in to transport people from here. Which this island is probably going to be heavily heavily edited as time goes on. So right now nobody wants to use it from Vegansville. Uh, nobody wants to use it from the Fool's Kingdom. It'll take a while before someone, you know, takes the plunge to go that way. And the same for Fishtown. Now, I'm hoping that they will use it, because it'll be all for nothing. But it enables them and, and vehicles to kind of get their goods to and from other countries a whole lot easier. And we don't have those big issues. Allows easy travel, but the thing is, they have to, they have to hit two toll booths as they pass through now at the minute we're going to keep it default prices but when there's a kingdom come here they might choose to rise the prices to the maximum and there ain't nothing anybody can do about it so we're going to fast forward them hopefully we can get things up and running where some peeps are going to start using it it would be really really interesting we're just kind of playing the waiting game right now for someone to actually use it i'm hoping i haven't messed anything up for all the anarchy stuff and all that to the point where I may have accidentally broken something. If that's the case, I'll just kind of quickly reload the game. But it's literally waiting for that first vehicle to pass through. It's a waiting game. It is a waiting game. So if I go to the traffic overview. Where we can eventually see if anyone's going to start using these roads. And nobody wants to just yet. Was it all done for nothing game? That's when I know I feel like I've messed something up. So what I'll do right now then, guys, is I'm going to save the game. I'm going to reload it because that normally fixes any bugs or any issues because you can get a load of bugs and stuff happen from playing around with the anarchy and stuff like that. And like the lane management when it doesn't work. Just a simple reload of the game kind of fixes everything. So one moment. No though. idea what's happening because I reloaded the game and I just didn't want to use it. Nothing was happening. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe it's the slopes are a bit too harsh. So I kind of made some of the slopes a little bit smoother. Nothing changed. I then chose to upgrade this tunnel here and this tunnel here into a four-lane road. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's the road type. And then halfway from me doing it, without me even noticing, they started using it. And I don't know what it is. Because I haven't changed this road and they're using it. But nobody is using this road here. So could that be an issue? I don't know. I don't know. It's a really, really weird one. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to upgrade it back to this type of road. And can they use that? This is what it originally was. And if they can't use this anymore, then it's got to be this type of road. But I don't see how that's a problem. Because if it was a problem, they'll be despawning and nobody would be driving on it. And there's vehicles now driving on it. It's blown my mind why it didn't work straight away. But right now, it's working. And the reason I want it to a highway is because, obviously, I know I can change the speeds. But it naturally makes it a higher speed. But nobody wants to use this one. Weirdly enough. Now, if I just click through it and upgrade it all. Because maybe there was like, a you know, something happened... Throughout the whole process. I don't know what it may be. But I upgrade it like this. Maybe then vehicles will start using it. Stranger things have happened guys. But this one has no toll booths. So it's like. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing right now? I don't know. Oh actually do you know what it could be? Do I have lane management here? No I don't. I was going to say, maybe because both these lanes turn this way. No, I'm not sure. But either way, right now, it is working. Peeps are coming from all different directions. And they're able to connect to three kingdoms. Possibly four if you claim Freedonia, because you can drive to it by going through the Fool's Kingdom. Uh, which means it will put a lot of pressure on this roundabout and this junction here. Which, as time goes on, we'll keep an eye on it. 
worst comes to worst, you have to play around with it. Uh, maybe have this as an overpass and not an actual connection here. Maybe have a direct flyover route so vehicles can go straight over to the highway, whatever it may be. I don't know what we'll have to do. But I know we're going to have to potentially do something um, to ease the pressure on this roundabout because it's already starting to appear by the looks of it. So, yeah. And we might have to create like a flyover route going this way too. I don't know. We'll eventually come up with something. But that is something that we need to kind of look out for and be very, very well aware of. Now, is anybody starting to use this section? Yes! I don't know what it is. Maybe it just took a while for the game to register. Maybe me upgrading that road fixed something. I don't know. But what it does do in the background, when you forget the whole Fool's Kingdom scenario, what it does in the background of the actual game, it hooks up these three Mega Kingdoms and allows vehicles to travel to and from, which is technically a lot quicker than waiting for a ship or a train to get there. So it fixed the small little issues and transport kind of problems and all that kind of jazz. It just makes things a little bit more easier to handle in, in, in the game's logic. We don't have to spawn as, as many boats anymore, which is always a good thing. But uh, yeah, it just adds a little edge onto it, and it also kind of goes on to create borderline a whole transport kingdom. And by seeing this as well, you can see that the majority of the vehicles coming from the Fool's Kingdom... The majority of them looks like they're going... Do you know, actually, it's kind of split even, isn't it? It is kind of split even. But I think the majority are going to Vegansville, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of cool to see that there's a treaty between Veganville and Fishtown that you can go to between the two kingdoms without paying any money. But if you go to Fool's Kingdom, you're going to pay top, top dollar right now. It's kind of interesting to see. But as of right now, in all the kingdoms, the traffic is not bad. It's fine. Except, obviously, that roundabout over in the Fool's Kingdom, which we'll definitely have to take a look at. And see at ways in which we can ease it. What I'll probably end up doing is creating like an overpass going in that direction. So you can get to the highway so much quicker. And maybe an underpass going through here. And then keeping the roundabout for when people want to change directions. And then creating this as like an overpass too. So they can fly over. Just so the direct routes that kind of need to go straight over are not interrupted. And don't have to kind of, you know, move out the way for anybody else. Which would completely clear the amount of traffic we see coming through here. So it should be it should be interesting. It should be very, very interesting to see how we can kind of unfold this. And maybe utilize another road coming this way to connect over to there too. Again, just to take more of the edge off this section. There's many ways in which we can do and things we can get set up. But um this is what it's like now. Just imagine as we progress further and add more and more residents, how bad it could then potentially become. But this is sweet. It's only gonna aid more exports and everyone's gonna make more and more money. And everyone's ultimately going to be a lot more happier. Except Vegansville. They're not going to like the fact that all these meat eaters have now got easy access to their country. They ain't going to like it. But Fishtown does. Fishtown does. Which now then, by having them connected, is going to cause a lot of demand. And uh, hasn't fully settled the issues that we've got lying down here because we still need to build more and more commercial. But at least they can export the goods a whole lot more easy and don't have to 100% rely. Uh, oh, don't like this here. Yeah, 100% rely on exports in terms of that. Oh, it's because I upgraded the road. It got rid of more of my lane management. Well, that's what I want to do there. Some people, they're using this harbor over here. Weird. Very weird. <laughs> But there we go, guys. We're going to end it for here today. It's a huge infrastructure that we've had now set in place, but it will be a big, big help. How much money we're making from toll booths, you say? Um, we're making 341 smackaroonies. So that will just keep fluctuating, but that little bit of pennies coming in. We'll pay a few of the little bit of bills that we do have. And before you know it, once we get a little kingdom here, we might completely maximize the fees it costs to use these toll booths because it's currently at one dollar to two you can pull it to two dollars to four so that would be really interesting to see what we can come out with it 
But anyway, guys, we're going to end it for here. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.